So here I am in the bloody kilt I used to slaughter this year's Thanksgiving turkey and the snow is just beginning to fall and guys, we're getting ready for a storm. Welcome to Cold Antler Farm vlog number 20. This will be a short vlog today. I'm going to probably check in later as the snow comes and goes. I want to just let you know what happens here when a snowstorm is coming, the kind of preparation the animals need, and what I'll be doing inside the farmhouse while the big snow comes. I figure we could go through animal by animal, starting with me, the person. Uh, inside the farmhouse, there is always a couple months supply of food. There are gallons and gallons of fresh drinking water, as well as plenty of firewood brought from outside, inside, stacked next to the stove. The reason being, who wants to crawl outside in the snowstorm at 3 a.m. to keep the fire going? I don't. I've learned that. Trust me. Uh, the wood itself needs to be taken care of in a snowstorm, so all of the firewood that is even mildly exposed to the elements is covered with tarps. So there's a lot of plastic out there right now. The gardens are not going to survive this, so all the surviving kale is going to come in and it's going to be a whole lot of kale. I'm going to cut it down, bring it inside, and do some research on the best way to preserve it. I'll probably blanch and freeze it. I'm not going to can kale, but there'll be a lot of that processing going on today before the power goes out. Come on, Gib. So here is just some of the dino kale still available here. Um, late November in upstate New York, kale lasts forever. This dino kale is coming in to be the first batch of what's going to be processed. So that takes care of the gardens, and as I'm filming this outside, I just saw the first flake of snow, and it is 10.50 a.m. on Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. For the animals, well, the rabbit who lives in an outdoor tractor was taken out of that tractor since it'll probably be buried by this time tomorrow morning and was brought into the farmhouse's mudroom. He's in an indoor rabbit hutch with water, food, and hay, and he should be one of the most cozy critters besides me, the dogs, and the cats. The poultry are on their own. They have plenty of shelter. They have plenty of options. Their food is out of the snow inside their large coop. The door, the, um, the barn door is open at least until the storm really carries on, and I'm hoping to get the turkeys and geese inside the barn, or at least leave the coop door wide open so they have that option to get into it during the storm if they wish. So the animals have feed close by, and it's ready to feed out during the storm, but besides just the feed that's an easy reach, they need to be fed in anticipation of the storm. Uh, heavy snow means that it's not easy to walk around. Think how exhausting you are when you're walking around your yard in snow or snowshoeing or cross-country skiing. So understand that the animals need a couple extra calories and that means uh, extra grain, extra cracked corn. Animals like the pigs need extra thick bedding so they have a basic uh, little nest to burrow into. Uh, it also means that their electric fencing needs to be lifted up above the level of the snow and that is a little arduous and you do it throughout the storm. So during this storm not only will I be shoveling and <laughs> um, bringing in firewood as much as I can to supplement what I've already been burning, I will be also um, checking the pig fencing. I'll also be shoveling snow off the roofs. If you don't live in an area with heavy snow, that means making sure that the snow that piles up on old slate roofs gets pulled off so that weight isn't sitting there seeping into roofs causing leaks or breaking or collapsing. This really matters on the old, old barn which has a 5,000 pound slate roof on it. If the storm gets bad, most of the animals will take cover. The goats and pigs who love comfort will be nestled up inside their barn stalls and piles of hay. The sheep, they'll stick it out for a while, but then go up into their pole barn to get out of the wind and worst of it. They know that they're okay in snow, but if it's really coming down hard, at least my sheep like to go inside a well-ventilated sheltered area. So they'll be up in their barn. 
The chickens will absolutely <laughs> look for a place out of the wind and snow, and I'll expect them to start out underneath horse carts and trucks and then make their way to proper shelter, which in the case of these birds will be uh, the rumpless and the uh, South African uh, jungle fowl. They'll go up with the sheep because they'd rather be up with them than with the other chickens. The uh, antler borns, who usually sleep in the trees, will come down into the horse's pole barn and stay with Merlin, or they'll go into the highest rafters of the barn. The antler borns, which are a cold antler farm specialty, they're the smartest chickens here, and they are going to be up in the highest rafters of the barn, safe from all predators and well protected, as long as I keep that roof rate going so you know, it doesn't collapse on them. So guys, the storm is on the way. There's a chicken and vegetables in the crock pot. The wood fire is going strong. The house is warm and I have uh, a lot of stuff to do writing wise and computer wise. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now and check in later as the storm gets heavier and let you know how we fare here at Cold Antler Farm. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.